Morning guys, July 12th here in Rusty, Rhode Island. So uh, I'm not working in the 48. Uh, previously I pulled uh, that rubber gasket out and I had already removed all of these screws. So they're all easy to turn out. I put them back in just so I didn't lose them. These, uh, they're like a, you can see the threads on them. Phillips head. Pretty sure these are the original screws with those threads. But I guess somebody lost a few and they started using these. So, I don't know. I dug through the drawer and I found a couple I had from uh, the old GMC I was working on. But the gasket came in. This is the one from, uh, what was it, Long Motors? And you can see it. Uh, Basically goes up against the door frame and then that uh, you got to punch holes through. I have a tool I use and I basically just punch holes through as I'm assembling it with my screwy driver. I use a screwdriver, not power tools. I just and that's why you can see like this plier marks. You can overpower these screws real easily and if you just take your time a little bit and just put enough pressure just to break it rather than hitting it with the gun it chances are you won't have to cut it or drill it or whatever some a lot of them I take a cut a slot in it and just use a flat tip sometimes if you can get at it but this is the gasket I was going to try to use here this was the 80s truck gasket 90s and uh, I cut used to be like a U right here and I took the clippers and I cut all it's all steel through there I couldn't get it to bend in the corners see how it just kinks I couldn't get a nice bend like up in there you know but this will work across the bottom so I only ordered the U and then I'm gonna use this across the bottom of the door where the door meets the, the floor so I will use this Reuse, recycle. See what's going on here in Rusty Rhode Island. So if you look up here a little bit, you see this white thing held up by the magnet. That's my insurance and my Rhode Island registration. So yesterday, I took the title and the bill of sale, went to the registry, went in, told me I want to get an antique tag. First thing I find out was because I, you know, the purchase was in March. And then it was a $200 fine because I didn't run in there in March and pay the taxes. So they couldn't figure out the value on it because it's not like a pickup truck, according to the title. It's a two ton steak body. And that's what I was trying to get it valued at to keep the, you know, the tax number down. So they couldn't find it, couldn't find it. They're calling up state. Finally, they come back and tell me, oh, Mr. Souza. Your truck is worth $22,000, and it's a 7% tax. So like it was like $1,900, and it was just under $2,000 to get this thing registered. And I said, well, you can appeal it. So I can go to a, like a dealership and pay for an appraisal, send it in, and maybe they'll knock off a couple of hundred dollars. It ain't, it's the legislation that's put in by our money grubbing Rhode Island legislators so it's like that up here in the Northeast until you I don't know New Hampshire's probably not too bad because they got about half the size of the government we got we're about comparable and their 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 budget's about half what ours is so maybe I should go to New Hampshire live free and die it's just too damn cold up there I can barely handle the winters here next to next to the ocean you know then again in Rhode Island, you don't have to have your antique cars or trucks uh, inspected because all we have is like emissions inspection in these trucks. You don't have to put seat belts in them. You can run without fenders. There's a lot of things you can do in Rhode Island that you can't even do in states that are adjoining us. So it has its good points. But when I got to go into that damn registry, I, after that, I got to go home and take a couple of uh, YouTube de-stress courses, listen to the ocean and the waves cracking and stuff, you know. <laughs> Good thing I got my girlfriend to keep me cool, man. She knows how to chill me out. We've been together 22 years. 
Oh, talk to you later.